I have a question for you. All this, right. This will get everybody going now. Okay. This is a capitalistic system that we have that really, really works very well, or has until now. It's, we're in terrible condition, which everyone in this room knows, and I guess most of the country knows. Now, my question to you is, why do you and all the other presidential candidates think that you can do any better than a gentleman named Donald Trump who has been extremely successful and understands what capitalism is about and has done extremely well. And he's, I know, don't tell me because you've got political experience. That's not what, <laughs> I don't really want to hear that. Well, I know you've done Well, I love the fact that you asked the question and tell me what I can answer. Well. That's. <laughs> It's, it I'm sounds like to me. That. It sounds That's to, the way I am. It sounds to me like it's now I understand exactly why you like Donald. Um, because okay, Donald, because like Donald, because Don, and, and by the way, as do I. I mean, okay. I'm happy to answer. Donald and I have been friends for 13 yeah, years. I know that because okay. I watch Fox News and I've heard you say that. Yeah, so we've been friends for a long time. Here's the thing. I just don't believe that the skills that you're talking about that Donald has okay. are transferable to a governmental setting. I just don't. See, because Donald would tell Speaker Boehner, I want this bill and I want it on my desk because this is what's best for America. And Speaker Boehner would look at him and say, yeah, well, I don't have the votes for that, so I can't give it to you. He can't look at him and say, Speaker Boehner, you're fired. He can't do that. You can do it on a reality TV show, but you cannot fire the Speaker of the House or the Senate Majority Leader because you don't get what you want. Now, that's the way Donald has operated in part successfully, not only on the reality TV show, but in his real life. And it's not just him, it's any CEO of a company. In other when, words, you're saying that you have to be a politician? No, no. What I'm saying is you have to have some experience in knowing how to deal with people in that way, and he has not shown oh, that not over so the course sure of his career. That. The well, I know that then we have a fundamental disagreement, but that's like, right. yeah, so that's okay. Then vote for Donald Trump. It's fine. Um, it's a free country, and you can vote for whoever you want who's on the ballot on February Thank 9th you. here. But here's the thing. There are certain skills yeah. that you have to have to be able to operate in a system that is built upon compromise. And I don't care whether it's Donald Trump or whether it's the CEO of General Electric or it's the CEO of Time Warner or any of the major companies in this country. When you're CEO, you're able to make decisions and have them implemented and be ordered, order them to be implemented. I have probably the most powerful governorship in America constitutionally. The New Jersey Constitution gives to the governor of New Jersey enormous authority. We appoint the attorney general. We appoint the state controller. We appoint every judge from the superior court all the way up to the Supreme Court. I appoint every county prosecutor. Uh, I have the veto, the line item veto, the conditional veto where I can, Tom would love this, where I can rewrite the bill and then send it back to the legislature like I like it. And I have to compromise all the time, right. even with the most powerful governorship. And the governorship of New Jersey is more powerful constitutionally than the President of the United States. Mm -hmm. As a constitutional matter, absolutely. The President of the United States doesn't have the line item veto. The President of the United States doesn't have the conditional veto. The President's constitutional authority is significantly less than the constitutional authority. I'm not saying it's a governor is a more powerful position, but the constitutional authority is much narrower than in New Jersey. So I'm not going to try to convince a Trump supporter that somehow, you know, I'm right. But, but all I can tell you is that's my opinion, and I'm as welcome to mine yeah. as you are to yours. Okay. In the end, I would tell you, and I've said this to Donald, I think if he became president, he would be incredibly frustrated. <laughs> because what he does in the business world could not be replicated in the world of government or in the world of international relations. For instance, when he says, when he says that he's going to build a wall across the entire 2,000 mile border between the United States and Mexico, and he's going to make Mexico pay for it. Uh -huh. Now that's a great line, right? Everybody loves that. Great, we're going to get the wall, we don't have to pay for it. All I want you to explain to me. He got a me, lot of attention with that, oh, though. Of course he did. And if we, I don't know whether, see, I thought we were talking about actually governing our country and not getting attention. If the, if the, right if now the, we're talking no, about no, listen, attention. if the, <laughs> if the goal here 
is to find the person to be President of the United States who can get the most attention, he's going to win hands down. If it is the person who can most effectively govern our nation and deal with the world, I'd suggest to you that I'm in this race because I think I'd be better at it than he would. You have a different opinion? Then vote for him. It's fine by me. Um, I don't need to get every vote. I just got to get more than anybody else. 